Hi and very good afternoon everyone. What I'll do today, uh, I'll discuss about uh, BJ Prasad classification which keeps on modifying on a regular basis. So, uh, and this is very important because it depends upon All India Consumer Price Index. So let's see how we can understand this, how we can comprehend this so that based on All India Consumer Price Index, we can calculate it at any moment of time. Okay, now before going uh, on modified BJ Prasad classification, just to uh, give a brief snapshot on what is socioeconomic status. As we all know, we keep on using this word socioeconomic status, socioeconomic status. So it is basically defined as uh, the position that any individual or family occupies with reference to, you know, the, what is the standard of their cultural and material possessions, what is their income and how actively they are participating in group activity or in, the, in, in, in any community. So it's, it's, it can be said very simply that what is the position within the society? And that position is dependent on the material we have, the cultural possession, the money we have, the income level, and how we participate in community activity. Now, BJ Prasad classification, first of all, we should know the full form is Brahma Govind Prasad classification. Now, this is a, a classification which started in 1961, and it can be used in urban and rural areas family areas both so please be mindful that it can be used in urban and rural area also now it is very simple it is based on per capita monthly income now what is that per capita monthly income suppose you know uh, we have a family of five members right and the total family income is 20,000 so per capita family income per capita monthly income becomes total monthly income divided by total number of family members so if the total family income is 20000 and we have five members so it per capita it becomes 4000 now it was introduced in 1961 and at that time the base value was kept as 100 and it depends upon the consumer price index now over the year we know you know, you know the prices of the the goods and the commodities which we buy, buy it it increases on a regular basis so what the revisions has been done and the revision was done in 1982 it was also done in 2001 and 2016 also where they have included certain linkage factors that needs to be multiplied so we have a linkage factor for 1982 we have a linkage factor for 2001 and we have a linkage factor for 2016 also now since it depends upon the money and the prices the prices so it keeps uh, it is dependent on the, uh, the, the changes in the price of the foods clothing housing and number of things which we buy so so what has been considered or what has been decided that we'll be considering all india consumer price index for industrial worker which is published by labor bureau right now you know the labor bureau is a part of ministry of labor and uh, employment what they do they gather in for price data from approximately 317 markets across 88 important industrial centers in india to calculate to calculate the consumer price index for industrial worker each month now this labor bureau releases on the last working day of the following month about all india consumer price index for industrial worker so you will get this cpi for industrial worker from the labor uh, bureau for example if i take if i ask you we are in the month of april so if you go to the labor uh, uh, ministry of labor uh, labor bureau website you will see that consumer price index for industrial worker of january 2024 is 138.9 right so this is already given so you will be getting this on a regular basis so we'll have in in, in days to come for february 2024 and sub subsequently march april and all right so it started in 1961 so what happened in 1960 it was the base base was considered considered as 100 and and I, as i said revisions have been done on a regular basis so revision was done in 1982 2001 and 2016s and the linkage factor for 1982 is 4.63 linkage factor for 2001 is 4.93 and linkage factor for 2016 is 2.88 recently now the base year has shifted from 1961 now we are considering it as 2016 is considered as a base year now okay 
okay to make it more clear if i go back and see what was the classification in 1961 so you need to see here so 100 you know so if anyone if any per capita uh, you know income is 100 and above in 1961 it was considered as they belong in the upper class so the next range becomes you would subtract one from here and the upper limit of the next class becomes 99 and the lower limit is 50 again for so this if any per capita income is between 50 to 99 it belongs to class 2 which is upper middle right now again what you do you reduce one from here so you get 49 here and the lower limit is 30 so any per capita income between 30 to 49 it is middle and subsequently you can see for uh, lower middle also it is between 15 to 29 and below 15 is the lower class which is fifth so it's easy to remember this and we and i am based on my experience i, I am saying please remember this if you remember this for any month or for any year it will be very easy to remember and how to remember this you start with 100 so the next class the upper limit will be one less so it will be 99 50 99 again the next class will be 49 and, and the lower limit is 30 then 29 is the upper limit 15 is the lower limit and below 15 so this is the original classification of uh, bj prasad uh, which was used in 1961 and and i have already said that subsequent corrections have been done adjustment has been done based on consumer price index it was in 1982 2001 and 2016 where we have a linkage factor now suppose we have to calculate for since we have consumer price index of 20 of january 2024 if we know the value and the value is you can see here is 138.9 so cpi for industrial worker for january 2024 is 138.9 this we have got from labor bureau department right you can go on the website you can get this information so i want to know what is the new income value based on the cpi uh, in the month of january so i i know the old income value of 1961 i need to know the correction factor now what is this correction factor correction factor is the linkage factor for the ba base year 1982 which i have already said it is 4.63 base year for 2000 2001 the linkage factor is 4.93 for 2016 it is 2.88 and the current cpi which is which the example which i am taking is january 2024 so it is uh, 138.9 and that we have to divide by base index which in, uh, in 2016 because now we are considering base year as 2016 and that is 100 so we have to divide by that 100 now if you see this so you multiplied by 4.63 you are multiplying by 4.93 you are multiplying by 2.88 this is 1982 this is 2001 this is 2016 this is your consumer price index for industrial worker in in january 2022 and you are dividing by 100 why because this is 2016 base we have considered now so the correction factor you are getting after this is 91.31 now i have taken for january 2024 now subsequently you want to calculate suppose we have information for february 2024 so the only value which will change is this whatever will be the cpi for february 2024 we have to put it here and you will get the correction factor so this value will keep on changing based on consumer price index for industrial worker for the month you want to calculate this is the way you need to update your uh, uh, you know uh, the per capita income and the range now since i have taken this example let's go what happens to the next thing now so i need a you know a table because I want to use this BJ Prasad, modified BJ Prasad classification in the field. For example, family survey or I am doing any research work. So I need to have information, that the updated information. As I said, that it is easy for us to remember 1961 because it is 100, you know, 15, 99, then you have 30, 49, 15, 29, and less than 15. Now, this example, I am taking consumer price index. 138.9 of january 2024 and i have already showed in the previous slide how to calculate the correction factor so you multiply it by 4.63 which is of 2000, uh, 1982 
4.93 is 2001, 2.88 are the linkage factors. These three are the linkage factor of 82, 2001 and 2016. This is your CPI for industrial worker of January 2024 and you are dividing by 100. Why? Because you are considering 2016 as a base year now. So you got your 91.31 as a correction factor. This you already know. Now what has to be done to know the updated value? So this correction factor has to be multiplied by 100 here. I have multiplied 100 by uh, this correction factor. Then I got 9131. So 9131 equal to a greater than if any per capita income is in between this, I will consider now this as upper class. Now, so if you subtract one from here, that gets the upper limit of the subsequent range. So this is 9130. Now, the for knowing the lower limit, you need to use this 50, which is the lower limit of the original classification. And you multiply this with 91.31, the correction factor, you get 4566. Now, this is the lower limit. Now, when you know the lower limit, the subsequent upper limit of the third class, you, you are well aware, you have to subtract only one. And subsequently, the for knowing the lower limit, you need to multiply the lower limit of the original classification with 91.31, the correction factor. You get the lower limit of the third class, the updated lower limit of the third class. And this is the way you know all the values. So this is for January 2024. Now suppose you you are in the month of June and you have consumer price in June 2024 and you have a consumer price index for industrial worker which you get from the labor Depart labor bureau web website for example April and it is 140. So the only thing which you have to change is the correction factor calculation which you know how to do. So if you are if you are clear about this correction factor calculation you need to only multiply and you can get the updated value which you can use okay next now there are certain advantages of modified bj prasad classification there are certain disadvantages advantages it's it's very easy it's very simple you know it's very easy to calculate per capita monthly income which is done by total family income divided by total number of family members it can be applied both in the rural and urban population it is very easy, it is very adaptable. Why? Because you only you know the linkages factor, you can calculate. It is influ uh, the influence of consumer price index is there. So you can track the economic fluctuations and you can also track over the period of time. So longitudinal comparison can be done. A trend, socioeconomic trend can be, uh, can be you know, uh, identified because uh, it depends upon consumer price index. Now, there are certain disadvantages also. It is mainly, it is dependent on only one dimension, which is income. It doesn't include any other factors, indicators like education, occupation, or any other thing. So it, it is highly dependent on income. So it, it, it cannot be reliable. It cannot be more reliable uh, because it is only dependent on the income. It has limited scope. Why? Because, you know, it doesn't capture the diverse socio-economic disparity which is present in our country and it only focuses on income it overlooks no it may overlook factors like savings i have so you're not considering that the non-monetary resources i have so there is a problem or there is a possibility of inaccuracy and as i said it depends upon consumer price index which keeps on changing so it is vulnerable to inflation also and last is you know, lack of context, the broader factors, the household size, the assets, the land, the caste system which is present, all those things which has been taken care by other classifications, all those are missing here. So these are the possible disadvantages of modified BJ Prasad classification. Now, I hope uh, this BJ Prasad classification uh, would be easy now. The only thing to cut the long story short is, now you need to know the correction factor and that correction factor is how you calculate. You need to multiply the linkage factor of 1982, linkage factor of 2001, linkage factor of 2016 with the month for which you want to calculate and that consumer price index you get from the Labor uh, Bureau Department, the website, and you can calculate the updated value for uh, that modified BJ Prasad and you, you can use it and if you have understood this it becomes easy and you can use real-time uh, classification of BJ Prasad, Brahma Govind Prasad classification.
thank you very much for uh, for your time for your patience for your listening i hope you this bjp prasad classification would have been easy for you please uh, please go through the thing in case you have any doubt you can revert back to me if you like my presentation if you like the way i have explained please subscribe my channel please uh, you know also press the icon for uh, consistent notification thank you very much take care i'll come with the kupuswami and other udaypari classification subsequently thank you